Okay, so we've got the Xtool D8. This is the Bluetooth version, so it's the BT version. The regular D8 would have the same exact options. And I've got a 2016 Chevrolet Sonic. And I'm just going to go through the uh, key programming to see if this would actually program a key, see what options it's got. So far, every car I've hooked this to, it has been able to pull PIN codes, passwords, uh, program the keys. It, it has done everything so far. This is a very impressive tool when it comes to programming keys. So, and to get to it, you're going to just hit this special functions uh, icon right here button. Then you're going to go to key programming right here. And you got a little disclaimer. If you want to read it, you can. And this is a uh, GM or a Chevrolet. The one thing I don't like about the X tool is there's no rhyme or reason as to what order the icons are here. So uh, here's GM. We're just going to select that. Okay, so. Okay, this is just a, uh, it didn't ask for a maker model, just that, I just hit GM. So, I'm going to hit read security code, and we're going to see if there is a security code to be read. Uh, auto read pin. I'm going to hit that. Uh, this is 2016. This is, when you see the dash 2016, that is up to 2016. When you see the 2016 with the dash, it's from 2016 on. I don't know which one of these I need to pick. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, read pin code. We'll hit that. I hear the car dinging and chirping. So it's doing something out there. So far, I've hooked this to Jeep, Chrysler's, uh, it's pulled the pin codes for those. Uh, Nissan, it's pulled the pin codes for Nissan. Um, I think as far as pin codes go, that's all the cars I've done pin codes on. This will be the first GM to see if it actually has a pin code. And if it does, to see if it's actually able to read it. Because most of the time, if you can't get the pin code, even if, like on my Autel, it, it'll program the key as long as you have the pin code. The problem is it won't pull the pin code. So, what's the point? Okay, so here's the pin code, 7891 for this particular vehicle. And so it does pull pin codes. Auto read pin ABS. Now, I don't know. This is Chevrolet. Okay. I guess it's just for those two. This is a Sonic, so we're not going to go any farther than that. Uh, security code calculator. Not going to click on that. Immobilizer. That's the main thing we want to do here. Uh, Chevrolet. This is a USA version. And do they have Sonic? There's a Sonic. This is a 2012 to a 2017. Uh, clear trouble codes. Read number of keys. Okay, let's see if it'll read and tell us the number of keys. Yep, keys, there's two. Program keys without smart, program keys with smart. This is a, uh, a non-smart uh, ignition system or security system. Okay, it looks like it'll do an all keys lost. You can add a key. Turn off the anti-theft light. So there you go. I'm not going to go any farther than this because I don't need to program a key and I don't want to get in a situation to where I can't get out of it if I need to. Um, right now there's not a problem with this car as far as starting and I don't want to risk uh, putting it in a, in a situation to where uh, I'm unable to start it. But if you was wanting to program a key then and you had a blank key then you'd have that option. You would still have to have the key cut to be able to get it in the ignition and turn but this scan tool will be able to program it. And if you had a uh, the smart system, it looks like uh, you know it'd be able to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click this. I don't know if it's going to go. Okay, same exact options. So anyway, that is the key programming feature for 2016 Chevrolet Sonic here on the X Tool D8 BT. 
So if you're curious about the key programming features of this uh, unit, like I said, everything that I have used it on so far, I've, I've programmed maybe five or six keys with this tool on different makes and models, and it has worked every time. Uh, and that includes pulling pin codes, something the Autel will not do. Anyway, you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.